Good morning, everyone. My name is Alberto Firincelli, and I'm here, and I'm very proud to talk to you about this wonderful instrument. This organ is a Viscount Coram 50, and as you can see, we have many devices here and pipes down there. Now, let me introduce a little bit how this organ works. Here you can see many buttons to control the different sounds uh, called stops in the organ. The first set can control the sound of the pedal down there. The one in the middle can control the first manual, which is this one. And the second set on the right controls the second manual, this one. I will show you some examples. Let's start with the first manual. For example, if I select some stops here, now random one. Here there is nothing, of course, because I have to activate the other keyboard. And here the sound is very low, so I have to raise the volume. The second manual can be controlled by this pedal in order to increase or decrease the sound. Like this. Here you can see the name of the stop and numbers. Name of the stop principal is the very common sound of each organ. For example, if I press the, the second one, this is the sound I can have from my pipes. Number eight is refer, refers to the to the pitch to the octave. If I press the same principle with a 16, which is called 16 feet, I will have the same sound at the octave lower. lower. I can combine them together, of course. For the same reason, other numbers represent other octaves. Number four means two octaves up, Number two means two octaves up. It's called super octave. Number two, two third means the fifth up. Again, I can combine them all. Let's start with the 16, eight, four, the two, and then the fifth. The red ones are brasses. I have the contra trumpet, two octaves lower. The trumpet, oops, sorry. And the cramorn. Again, I can combine them all. Perhaps with some 16 and octave principal sound. The second keyboard is the softer one, the more expressive one. I have a similar set of stops, the eighth one. Four feet stop, two feet stop, two and two third is the fifth, and also this one, this is the major third. If I combine them all together, let's start with only one note, octave, let's use two, four, fifth, two octaves, major third. 
In this way, with one key, I am basically playing six sounds and I'm creating my major chord. I can control the intensity of the second keyboard, of the sound of the second keyboard, through the right pedal in this way. I can combine the first and the second keyboard together. So let's select some random stops. And then I press second in second to one. In the second keyboard, I have only this sound. But when I press the first keyboard, when I press the key of the first keyboard, I have simultaneously these sounds and also this other set of sounds. One, two, three, four, five. Here there are other presets um, here to control different kind of sound like kind of baroque sound, romantic sound and so on. Here I can prepare my combinations. For now of course it's empty because I didn't prepare anything here. Uh, here there are the MIDI control and here in the corner there is a little graphic display. Through the graphic display I can control many settings. For example, transposition of the instrument the fine tuning, and also temperament. I can select different kinds of temperaments. In this case, there is the equal one. I can select also Baroque temperaments or Renaissance temperaments. I will show shortly how it works. Let's go to the main menu, enter. Here I have the all settings. I can select the style. You can see ensemble, tremolans, voice volumes, orchestra, or if I go to File them. I can also save my file here. If I'm going to the setting, I can modify each single option of the organ. And this is the main screen. From here, I can also control volumes. Now, I'm not going to play, but you can show the crescendo, the number of stops I'm going to use, and the number of the, the, the value of the um, the second pedal, they want to control the manual. Now let me show about the pedal. I didn't activate any sound now, so of course there is no sound. So let's use some 16 feet stop and some 8 1. Let's use more stops, maybe all of them. When we play organ, according to the music we perform, we may combine pedals with the first and the second keyboard. Let me shortly show you about the meaning of these other buttons. This one, these, these ones actually, are used to couple together the first and the second keyboard, this one. So playing, by playing one keyboard, I can have the, also the sound of the second keyboard here. And with this one, I can control the sound of the first keyboard with my pedal. In this way, I can control also the sounds of the second keyboard with my pedal. Through this pedal, the left one, the one named Crescendo, I can create a sort of crescendo by balancing the sound, the, the quantity of stops I'm going to use. So I deactivate all of them. And then now there is, of course, nothing. 
I start gradually to move the pedal. And again, I can deactivate them all in this way. Nothing again. So, left pedal controls the general crescendo. The right pedal controls the second manual only. And here on the right side, I have the tutti. With the tutti, with just one button, I can activate all sounds of the organ. There are other devices down there. Um, here I have the same preset I have here, so I can activate or deactivate them either with fingers or with my feet. Here I have two pedals, as I showed you before. We saw already the second one. This controls the dynamic of the second manual. Uh, less loud and louder. The first pedal is called crescendo. It increases or decreases the number of stops I can activate. For now, it's at a very minimum level. If I uh, increase it, let me deactivate this so you can see what happens here. You can see many lights. This is what we can call kind of fortissimo. I have many, many levels. A little bit less, less, less. Nothing, of course. So if I press a chord and then I move my pedal, if I need to activate all sounds in only one time, I can press this button here on the right. It's called tutti. Tutti means all sounds. In this way, I have the full keyboard and also pedal. Now I will show how the keyboard, the, the pedals work. different techniques, of course. In this case, I'm using the tip of my feet. To play a more legato, that's a technique they use more in the romantic music. I can use this kind of movement, so use both sides of my feet. When we play organ, of course, we, combine, we may combine all these devices all together. First keyboard, second keyboard, and also the pedal. Organ has been one of the most important instrument in the Western musical tradition. Since the Middle Age, we have news about organ. In the Renaissance era, of course, we do have music for organ, not to mention that in the Baroque era, which is maybe the golden era of this instrument, uh, composers like Johann Sebastian Bach, just to mention one name, dedicate some of his important masterpieces to this instrument. Also in the classic and romantic era, we still have some 
composition for organ, and in the 20th century and contemporary music, many composers dedicate music to this instrument. We are at Princess Galayani Institute of Music in Thailand, Bangkok, and if you wish to learn more about this instrument, please come and visit us. In this university, you have a chance to learn and study and practice this instrument in our bachelor and master degree courses. Thanks for watching and goodbye.